All right. Where are we? Okay, Mishnah. So if you fall into the category of people who found my Two Beach Fat Seder video to be too animated and happy, this is the video for you. It's gonna be much more subdued and much more regular, normal, calm, Ilana. Because of course when my friends describe me, those are the words that they use. Calm and reserved. We're about halfway through our first book of Mishnah, by the way, and we're still talking about prayer. Recall that we talked about a few different prayer services. There's the morning service, Shacharit, the afternoon service, Mincha, and the evening service, Mariv. But there's also that extra service that comes into play on Shabbat and holidays, and that's the prayer service that this mission is dealing with right now, the Musaf service, the additional service. Rabbi Eliezer ben Azariah Omer, Ein Tfilat HaMusafin, Ela Bechader Ir. Rabbi Eliezer ben Azariah states, the Musaf Tfila, the additional service, is only recited with the city congregation. The Mishnah is talking about the daily minyan. The daily shacharit and mincha prayer services are set up so that certain parts of the prayers must be recited with a minyan. A minyan is a group of 10 men all praying together. Okay, that's all well and good for the shacharit and mincha prayer services, but what about Musaf? Must the individual pray the Musaf service with the congregation, with the minyan? So Rabbi Eliezer says that not only must this prayer service be recited with a minyan, but it can't be recited by the individual alone. The sages disagree. Chachamim omrim, bechever v'shalom bechever Musaf, says the sages, is mandatory for both the congregation and the individual. Now I think, I believe, I'm pretty sure that the Mishnah is talking about the repetition. When the congregation prays the Shemona Esra during the daily prayer service, the prayer is actually said twice. The first reading is done silently and everybody prays to themselves, but the second recitation is read out loud. So I'm pretty sure that the Mishnah is saying that the recitation of the Shemona Esra in the Musaf service, like the Shacharit service and the Mincha service, must first be recited silently by the individual and then by the congregation. Again, I'm not really sure about that and feel free to correct me. So again, Rabbi Eliezer says, only with the congregation, never alone, and the sages say both alone and with the congregation. Rabbi Yehuda says, Kol makom patur hamusafin. Rabbi Yehuda says that wherever there is a local congregation, a minion, the individual praying alone is exempt from reading the Musaf Tefillah. If, however, the Musaf Tefillah is not recited congregationally, because there's no minion or whatnot, then the individual has to recite it by himself. So we got never alone, alone and with the congregation, or with the congregation unless they're alone, then you can read it alone. So the sages is the opinion that we go by. The Musaf must be recited first by the individual alone and then by the congregation. But of course, I have an inquiry. Rabbi Elazar's explanation for why the Musaf service must only be recited with the congregation makes a lot of sense. Unlike the Shmona Esrei in the Shacharit and Mincha services, the Musaf Shmona Esrei is a little bit different. There's never a chance to ask for anything personal. So, says Rabbi Eliezer, why pray individually? It brings up an important idea about whether or not prayer is a private or public event. I mean, logically, prayer is a very private event between you and God. On the other hand, you literally need a minion, a congregation, to say certain prayers. So in that respect, prayer is very public. It's a group effort. Of course, the beauty of reciting the Shemona Esrei prayer twice, once by yourself and once with the group, kind of covers both that private and public aspect of prayer. But do we really need that extra bit of privacy when we're not asking for anything personal from Hashem, from God? Whether or not we need it, I'm really glad that the sage's opinion is the opinion we go by. Because of modern technology, because of Facebook, because we're constantly available on our cell phones. A private moment with ourselves is hard enough to come by, let alone a private moment with God. So I'm so glad that at least once a week we get an extra moment of privacy. It's important to take time away from everybody else, to take time for yourself, to reflect, to just be by yourself and with God. And then after we've taken that private moment with just ourselves and God, we come back to the congregation, back to society. And I think it's because of that extra private moment that we're better able to pray as a group together. That being said, I've spent a considerable amount of time alone in my room with my camera and you. And now I can go back outside to the real world and live among the people. Bye-bye!